Hey, welcome back to another video. Today I have another how-to video. This is how I ship slab books in the mail. Um, there's a couple different methods I've seen. Mine's slightly different. I don't use the two box method. And we're gonna be shipping out this Venom number six, the, um, the scan cover. Um, this was recently purchased on eBay. And I'm gonna show you how I send it out to the buyer uh, safely, securely, and easily uh, with very minimal effort. So stay tuned. All right, here we go. So this is gonna be pretty quick, pretty simple. Uh, essentially, all you need, obviously you need the slab, some good old uh, Scotch shipping uh, tape, masking tape. This bubble wrap, I don't know specifically what you call it, but it's definitely got the larger bubbles here. Uh, I actually would get these from Midtown Comics. Um, their books would slide around and corners would hit the sides. I really like this bubble wrap, so I, I hoarded it and saved it. And essentially what I do is I create a little boat, um, and I let the, the, the slab kind of sit in the boat. Um, it sits nicely in this bubble wrap, and uh, really been shipping it this way for a couple of years now. Pretty straightforward. So let's get to it. Um, I'll take the bubble wrap and just kind of lay it out here. And I'll take the slab and lay it in the middle. And the first thing I do is I will just close it up just like that. It's it's the exact. I didn't cut this bubble wrap. It's it came just like this. Uh, it's the absolute perfect size. Um, grab some, some tape here to get going. Just kind of gently put it on here, like so. And that's really all you need. Again, don't need to over tape it or kill it. Um, and then what I do is start to just tape up the sides here. Uh, that's really it. Um, and then just put it in the priority mailing box. Now to, to get the sides to stay, I just take some tape again, put it on the bottom, just like that. And then I just start to curl it up to make this little edge to the boat, bubble wrap boat. Let's pull it over, and one more for good measure in the middle, and I just kind of grab from the bottom, and then I do kind of give it a nice little tug there, and that's kind of what the side looks like. You know, it, these protect the corners, the excess bubble that kind of bulks up here naturally, and go ahead and do the other side piece of tape and just take it uh, about a third of the way in. Same thing on this side, just like that. And then one more in the middle, like that. So I'm grabbing it, you know, about right there and then just folding the tape right over, like so. Fold it over and just press it on there. So now this thing's not going anywhere. Uh, what I like about it is put one more across the top. What I like about it is again, it doesn't put pressure on the plastic on the slab inside. So it's not susceptible to cracking because it's under so much pressure and the bubble wrap is keeping it nice and secured all the way around. And then on the corners, because I've wrapped it specifically in this way, there's excess down here on, as, as the wraps come over on each corner that give the uh, additional padding on the corners. So there it is, it's ready to go. I move the tape out of the way and I take a priority mailer. This is the medium flat rate box. Again, I know that others will put uh, a smaller box inside with less bubble wrap, but you can see when this slides in, it is the absolute perfect size, just like that. Now, the only thing I will do is I, I do get a little worried about the top edge, um, you know, anything like that, but there's still a good half an inch to an inch of bubble all the way around. There will be times where I'll put some trash around it, but this one's pretty much good to go. I have the eBay packing slip that I always print out. So I've got that folded up so that there are no surprises and the buyer knows what they're getting. And I'll just put that 
in the box, like so. Peel off the priority tape. I never trust that to completely secure it, um, but it's just right. So there's a little bit of pushback, like the slabs inside trying to get back out. And I just take it with two hands and firmly press it in here like that. So now everything is secure. Lastly, again, because I don't trust the priority mailbox, I'll just put some additional tape. And the more tape that you use on the outer package, the more stronger and more secure that box will be. Um, so what I like to do is tape up each side like so, but still give the buyer the opportunity to cut open with scissors or a knife so that it's not overly taped. Really, that's all that you need. The box is really not going anywhere. The flaps are not opening by taping it up in this way. One, two, three on each side, and that is good to go. Last but not least, I'm going to affix the label to the outside right in here and go ahead and schedule that pickup and that's it. It's as easy as that. It's nice and secured. There's no noise. It's not shaking around. That bubble wrap is the perfect length, perfect size. You've created this nice little boat. And that's how I've been shipping slabs and uh, with 100% feedback um, and, and great uh, positive comments on how um, they've received the slabs in great shape. No scratches, no dings, no nothing. That's it. Happy collecting. See you next time.